Hi there, everyone. It is currently the 2nd of December 2012. You are looking at the latest satellite imagery of our now very severe, very intense a typhoon of Bofa or a Pablo going to be called here, likely going into the early morning hours once Pegasa starts warning on it. But the main threat today and the main focus of our update, later on in the update we will talk about the Philippines, but is Palau. Uh, here is actually a picture coming out of Palau this morning, some cloud cover overhead, but it does look like conditions are going to be rapidly deteriorating going through your afternoon hours here talking around uh, maybe 1600 to 1700 Palau standard time everything's going to start to rapidly go downhill and you can see here on the current satellite imagery this is a very massive cloud cover now the storm system and those compact typhoon strength winds are located near the center of circulation where you see these areas in the highest reds and those dark yellows these outer rain bands still are going to be packing quite a punch and you're already seeing some light showers move overhead and plow today but nothing compared to the monster that is coming in from the southwest here and pushing off there uh, towards the, or excuse me, from the southeast, pushing off there towards the northwest, just switching through the different infrared imagery so you can see kind of what's going on. But if we take a look at the visible, it uh, really does show this tight circulation. Now, there is one saving grace that I can see, at least at this time, is that we're seeing some drier inflow from the north wrapping around the storm system. So what this is causing is some slight weakening. Now, Granted, it's slight weakening safe going from a 200 kilometer per hour storm to 180 kilometers per hour. Actually, JMA 185 uh, kilometers per hour sustained winds at this time. And really, the other saving grace is that there, the cone where those strongest winds is a rather small area. These are where you're going to be seeing the typhoon strength winds and winds gusting up to 260. But the bad thing is it is moving just towards the south of Palau and this is actually the zoomed in look from the Japan Meteorological Agency. This is uh, using our current Typhoon Bofa track on westernpacificweather.com. Please do go check it out. You can actually zoom in here and see where exactly it's going to be going not just from JMA but also JTWC moving uh, south of uh, Palawan here but really this course the farther it is towards the south the better news for Palau but uh, the bad news is that Karor is on the southern portion of the larger island here. This will be put you into the right front quadrant so you have the storm coming in from uh, the east that is pushing these waves that's why the storm surge across this area can be rather significant up to 12 to 20 foot storm surge according to the Guam National Weather Service um, this is going to bring in a rather decent and a major impact this area and actually um, many people that live in Palau uh, at least the younger people, let's say for those of you in your early 20s, uh, the last major storm to impact the area was not until uh, 1990. That was Typhoon Mike that blew through this area. So for anybody into the younger 20s or into their teens, uh, you were definitely a younger child when the last storm came through. So this is going to be one of the first major ones to really hit this in 22 years. So very significant storm system these are most of the model outlooks just pulling it towards the south of Palau as well so we're very confident on that so with that said now is the time to make these last minute decisions many of the schools out here are opening up for uh, shelters actually uh, here's a list of some of the schools Palau High School Karor Elementary School, Midzenti High School, Maristella High School, uh, all those schools are opening up ahead of this storm system so you can go there and evacuate and uh, really take the proper precautions. But also, uh, if you tune into OTV, we're actually continuing to monitor them. That's the Oceana Television Network. Uh, they are still putting up updates throughout the day today. And also, a T888 Echo Paradise PNCC Channel 1 as well. So, all these different uh, channels you can still tune in here across a Palau. But uh, meanwhile, we still have James Reynolds out there. He's continuing to update us. This photo actually at Kramer's last night, people bored up saying they haven't boarded up since the early 90s when Mike came through here uh, and uh, still uh, continuing to watch this storm system. I, uh, in Palau, we're going to be having an interactive live update this evening to try to keep you posted out across these islands as the storm starts to make landfall. So hopefully the electric is still on, but there's unconfirmed reports coming out of Palau that the electric might actually be shut off 
um, ahead of the storm just to kind of save the system, I, I suppose. But uh, still a very dangerous storm indeed across this area. And thank you for watching. Uh, one thing I do strongly suggest, if you can, don't put yourself in danger at all. If you can and you're out here, uh, try to uh, submit some photos to us so we can share them on here to the rest of the world. Now, uh, over towards the Philippines, sunny day here uh, across the entire country. Actually, if you are in northern Mindanao or Visayas, uh, you are enjoying some very great weather today. Unfortunately, uh, that's mainly due to all the moisture getting sucked up in the Bofa here towards the east. It does look like conditions are going to start to go downhill for you basically on your Tuesday going into your Wednesday. Now, this is the 4th at 00, zero Universal Time. That's actually uh, pushing uh, towards Tuesday into the early morning hours. The 5th at 00, zero Universal Time, that's actually right around 0800 on Wednesday. So throughout the day on Tuesday going into Wednesday, expecting this to move across northern Mindanao and then eventually off there towards the west. The main threat with this one, not just uh, the high winds that is likely going to be occurring upwards of 200 kilometers per hour, even higher near the coastlines here, but you have that cyclonic circulation, just like we've been talking about. Areas around Lette here are going to see some significant rainfall and storm surge in the low-lying areas, especially into the bays and inlets, but the the rainfall. Uh, I'm seriously worried about a significant flooding of occurring and we saw this similar condition last year with uh, uh, Washi as that came through and actually came through down here towards the south but we had rain bands continuing to flow in here around Cagayan there in northern uh, Mindanao and that caused uh, some significant flooding. Now Lette and Samar I do think that you're going to be under the risk of the worst flooding here. Now the good news is that the National Disaster Risk Re Reduction and Management Council or NDRRMC has declared blue alert, alert in uh, many of these areas across the area making preparations ahead of the storm. Uh, also, uh, they're talking about many of the people here have to be at their post once this comes on board and they're tapping, uh, I think right around 10,000 uh, soldiers to start helping out uh, with this storm system or helping out with preparations of the storm system as it continues to uh, move into the, the region. So that's the good news. Philippines already starting to make preparations and that is uh, that makes me actually very happy despite the fact that Bagasa now finally just a warning on the storm uh, this morning. And this is warning number one for Pablo. So I think I said earlier on in the update uh, that it will be called already being called Pablo. Excuse me on this one. But uh, northern Mindanao and also Visayas, that's really where they're expecting this track to move across. JMA pushing it farther towards the north. They expect a weakness in the subtropical ridge to start to break down and also a uh, friction to turn it towards the right. And that's what you typically see is friction causes storms to turn to the right. So I do expect it to kind of meander a little bit farther towards the north across this area of vice what you are seeing on the map. Uh, likely pulling off there uh, towards uh, right around Roxas possibly uh, even off there towards San Jose on the uh, islands off here towards Mindoro uh, just towards the south of Luzon. So uh, lots of effects from the storm system, but including Manila, I know that if you are Manila, you've been watching eight and a half minutes, worried about you. I think that at this time, tropical storm strength winds are very likely typhoon strength gusts could occur. Thunderstorm activity though, uh, you could be seeing some very uh, strong winds with those even typhoon strength uh, winds in some of the strong embedded thunderstorms, but also the significant rainfall. I do think that Manila is going to be seeing some flooding across this area as the storm does push by uh, towards yourself. It doesn't look like you're going to see a direct landfall hit, at least according to all the other agencies as well. and the model outlooks here in the long range, but if it does move down there towards the left, well, uh, you're going to still see moisture float in from the east and from the west. Uh, so Manila uh, you are going to be seeing some heavy rainfall. And then there's always, always the threat in these outer rain bands of tornadic activity. I don't want to scare people, and there's not much you can do about these tornadoes. They're usually rain-shrouded, fast-moving, and weak, but uh, they do occur. Now, uh, that is all for right now, though. Uh, pushing 10 minutes on the video update here. I try to keep them short. For more and longer information, though, uh, around... 
1800 Palau time, that'd be 1700 Philippine Standard Time. Uh, I plan on doing a live interactive update. If you want to join in, please write me here at the webpage on the YouTube channel, on our Facebook channel, me at Robert Spetta or at westernpacificweather.com, or you can post at westernpacificweather.com. We appreciate the feedback. The interactions, what really keeps uh, this website going, it's the feedback from you, the viewer, that really makes this website what it is so if you have any information please do share and join in with us later on today so stay safe though everybody and uh, stay safe out there that's the big thing please listen uh, to the local warnings and the local agencies about the latest uh, evacuation measures and uh, take utmost precaution as the storm pushes off in your direction have a great day bye